All right, so last thing I said, the corners of my PEI steel sheet peel up on large prints with lots of surface area. That's that's going to be a common problem with most surfaces um, because things like to contract. But anyways, what am I doing wrong? The bed is at 70C. So you're not actually doing anything wrong. Um, just naturally, when you have a large part, this goes with PLA, um, especially bad with uh, with ABS and PETG, ABS being the worst out of them. Um, but you should, uh, you should definitely try to eliminate drafts around the printer. So enclosing it would be, would be perfect. Um, that would, that would solve that issue. That, the funny story is I was printing very big PLA parts and they fit on my under five plus. And that's why I enclosed the under five plus. Um, I was actually printing, uh, if you guys remember, I made some, this was year, uh, over a year ago, two years ago. Um, I converted a wine cooler into a cigar humidor and I 3d designed the trays and printed them out of a wood PLA. Um, and they kept warping. So that's one of the reasons I actually enclosed that because that project, uh, that was the only printer I had that was big enough and there was a readily made enclosure. So enclose the printer. Um, the other thing is if we're talking just a tiny bit, we're talking just like it's barely curling up, not a ton. If it's a ton, you're gonna have to eliminate drafts. Um, if, you're t if it's curling up just a tiny bit, I'm gonna plug my favorite special juice. This stuff, put it on your bed. Um, this stuff works great. I'm sure people are in the chat are gonna be like, I use it and it's great too. I know you guys watching have played with this, at least most of you. This is my favorite bed adhesion promotion product. This is always sell, this is what we use. This is my personal bottle, so don't take it. Um, I just opened it, look at it, I just opened it. And it is open. The The only problem is, um, <laughs> I, I don't think Sean watches our streams, but uh, keep it away from your vape juice bottle if you vape. <laughs> um, Sean actually, Put his put this in his dripper on accident when he was at work and i was like he was dying it was bad like he was just like Bleh. i was like yeah i bet, I bet that doesn't taste good and i saw like the bottle of vision miner sitting next to there and his juice on the other side i'm like you did not yeah but uh terrible vape juice really good really good bed adhesion so um really good bed adhesion so yeah um if you're, like I said, so if you're, if you're getting just a little bit, just a tiny, tiny little bit of curling, you know, it's just, just barely, this will probably, I'm not going to tell you this will absolutely fix it, but in my experience, this will usually take care of small issues. If you're having, if it's like a big part and by big, I mean like over 250, 300 millimeters, um, then you're probably going to need to eliminate drafts. You know, one thing you could do is a really cheap solution. Go to the hardware store, pick up some of those foam boards and build a box around your printer. Um, I've seen guys take them and they just make four sides on the top. They hot glue it all together and they just stick it on top of the printer. And it doesn't look pretty. It looks, looks like garbage, but Hey, it works and it's cheap. So, um, uh, it's a lot cheaper than an enclosure. So, but if you do have, a, if you do want to get enclosure, we do carry some of the Creality ones. Um, I think we're out of stock on the large size, but like the Ender 3 sizes we have. But yeah, um, eliminate drafts. And if it's only a tiny bit, this stuff will usually sort you right out. So, but like I said, I'm just giving, giving you my advice here. So anyways, uh, yeah, Vision Miner. Uh, I'll, I'll post, uh, can one of my, one of my mods post a link to this in this, in the chat, please? Um, we sell this. And so the, the story behind this, and it's kind of funny. So um, my buddy Tyler that was on last week, he stumbled across it and tried it out and then he loved it. So he like got samples from it. He was giving to all his, giving to all his friends, um, you know, cause they were a relatively new company. He was helping them you know, get the word out. And he's just a nice guy like that. So he sent me a sample and I was like, dude, I'm not paying f like, I think at the time the big bottles were like 50 bucks. They're 40 for the big ones. And they're like 20 something for the small ones. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm actually going to check our site. We have two sizes, um, the 120 S. So these are the 120s are 44. So they used to be 50. The prices came down a little bit. And then the normal size, which is 50 mils, only 20 bucks. So I'm looking at thinking it's, you know, this, this guy's just trying to make this magic sauce that's overpriced. Um, and it's not going to work well. And then I tried it and now we sell it. So like I used this for many years before we ever started selling it. I reached out to them. Um, Rob's the guy I deal with over there. He's a really good, really good dude. Um, it's really good. So, um, yeah, I do. Nemo said people say you can cut it with IPA. So here's the thing I've noticed, um, for PLA, for PLA, PETG, um, that works okay. But I found for ABS, you want to use this at full strength. 
So your mileage may vary. So if you, you cut it down with uh, isopropyl alcohol uh, to get a little more life on the bottle, um, you might, it's not gonna work as well as if it's just straight out of here. So I stopped diluting mine. I tried it for a little while. And while it worked okay for PLA, I still had um, a some ABS prints where they would come up because ABS on PEI does not stick 100%, especially on larger parts. So basically, almost, I don't want to say every printer on, in, in my office here has this on the beds, but the majority of them do. My ABS printers do. We use this on all the print farms. So if you got a part from us, um, that was an ABS part. It was printed on our EasyFlex, uh, EasyFlex 2 plates with Vision Miner for the adhesion. So if you like this clip, this is taken from our Ask Tim stream that we do every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central Time. So if you want to watch that whole stream, you can go ahead and click here. Otherwise, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure to change the bell to all notifications to get notified when we go live in the future.